Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between conventional electric discharge machining and dry electric discharge machining. Electric discharge machining is one type of non-traditional machining process where workpiece material is removed by melting and vaporizing with the assistance of high-intensity sparks generated between two electrodes. Kerosene, deionized water and petroleum-based oils are conventionally used as dielectric fluid for electric discharge machining. Such fluids offer high breakdown voltage, quick breakdown and good cooling and flushing capability. However, disposal of such fluids after their service life is the major concern in today's scenario. These concerns paved the way for evolution of gaseous dielectric where compressed air, or helium, nitrogen, argon or gas mixture, is delivered in the electric discharge machining zone, instead of liquid dielectric. Such an electro-discharge machining process where compressed gas is used as dielectric is called dry electric discharge machining. So, let's look into the basic differences between conventional electric discharge machining and dry electric discharge machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in conventional electric discharge machining. Suitable liquid, such as kerosene, deionized water, etc., is used as dielectric fluid, whereas, in trielectric discharge machining, no liquid is used. Instead pressurized gas, like helium, nitrogen, argon or gas mixture, is used as dielectric fluid. Number 2, in conventional electric discharge machining, spark is generated in a liquid medium, whereas, in trielectric discharge machining, Spark is generated in a gaseous medium. Number 3. In conventional electric discharge machining, the dielectric liquid is usually reused for a longer duration. Thus the used dielectric is required to cool down and clean before delivering the same into electric discharge machining zone, whereas, in trielectric discharge machining, the dielectric gas is usually not recycled. Thus cooling and cleaning accessories are not required. Number 4. In conventional electric discharge machining, liquid dielectric usually has high heat capacity. So it can cool down the tool electrode and workpiece electrode quickly and efficiently, whereas, in trielectric discharge machining, gaseous dielectric has low thermal capacity. Thus cooling capability is very poor in trielectric discharge machining. Number 5. Cost of dielectric medium is comparatively high in conventional electric discharge machining. Whereas, in trielectric discharge machining, dielectric medium is cheaper. Number 6. In conventional electric discharge machining, liquid dielectric is associated with the risk of environment pollution, operator health hazard and fire, mainly for hydrocarbon-based oil. Whereas, trielectric discharge machining eliminates the risk of environment pollution and fire, and at the same time it promotes operator's health. Number 7. When ferrous material is machined by conventional electric discharge machining, the liquid dielectric prevents the atmospheric oxygen to come in contact with hot sparking zone and thus can protect the same from oxidation, whereas, in trielectric discharge machining, chance of oxide layer formation on the hot machined surface is high, especially during machining ferrous metals. And, difference number 8, in conventional electric discharge machining. Liquid dielectric requires significantly higher voltage for breakdown. This helps in increasing spark intensity, whereas, in trielectric discharge machining, breakdown voltage for gaseous dielectric is comparatively low, 